guys, guess who's back? It has been a really long time, but here I am back at the Battlegrounds series, the best series of this channel. The only one actually. I know you are asking yourself this question. Why is this bum using AI voice, brah? Well, a long, long, long time ago, three months ago, to be exact, my headset destroyed itself. And the little bum, Reaper couldn't record anymore. So that's when he got this massive idea to use an AI as his voice. But the bum still didn't record, and his subscribers started to fade. But he didn't let that stop him. And he brings to you today the thing that every battleground game has. <laughs> Blocking. Without this, how can our game even be considered a battleground game? Come on, bro, stop with the yapping and get to the tutorial already, you bum. All right, one last thing. I am truly sorry for not uploading lately. I will start uploading weekly again soon. But enough yapping. Let's start with the tutorial. Okay. So in the last video we added damage to the M1 system. And in this video, I will be making the blocking system that we will use so that players can block other players' attacks. As you can see, when I'm blocking I move way slower than before. Now, enough of me yapping and let's get on with the tutorial. This system will be very easy to make, but for this tutorial you will need to have the animation spoofer plugin. I will leave a link to it in the description. And if you don't know how to use it, I will explain in this video, but we will need to use it later, not now. So, in workspace, you need to add at least one dummy. Then, go to the avatar tab, and then, click on animation editor. Select a dummy so that we can start animating the rig. Now, this process can be done in two ways. 1. You copy what I do to make the animation. Or 2. You use the animation spoofer plugin and get the animation fast. It's up to you to choose how you are going to do this process. If you want to copy what I am doing, you can go ahead. But, if you want to use the plugin, then I will show you how to do that later. If you are done with your animation, you can now publish it. Click on the three dots next to the animation name. Then click on Publish to Roblox. Then name it whatever you want. And then, click on Save. Then, under the name or the icon of the animation, there should be some numbers. And next to that there should be an icon. Press it so that you can copy the animation it. Then, go to replicated storage. And copy what I do. In the dash system script, you have to make a little change. Then take the dash folder and put it inside the animations folder. Between line 9 and 12 you have to change the code identical to mine. Then add a new animation and name it block. In the animation I'd slot paste in the animation it you copied before. Now, if you pick the second way to do this animation, watch carefully. Pause the video and write down my animation it. Then, go to the animation spoofer plugin. And put the animation in, in the bar. 
And finally, click on Convert, then publish and copy the animation it like we did before. Then, in replicated storage, add a new folder and name it Remotes. In the Remotes folder add a remote event, and name it Block Remote. Then, in Starter Player, Starter Player Scripts, add a new local script and name it Block Controller. You can find this script in the description. Now, I will explain how it works. Here we get the user input service and the replicated storage. Here I get the player, character and human the way of the character. Here I get the remote event and the block animation we made before. Here I load the block animation. Here I made a new variable that I am going to use later on in the script. Here I create a new function that will allow me to start the blocking. I set his blocking to true because the player began the block. I play the blocking animation, and then I set the player's walk speed to a lower value than normal. For the stop block function is the same as the start block function, it's just the opposite. Here I check that the player pressed the F key, and if so, I use the start block function. Here I check that if the player removed his finger from the F key, and if so, I stop the block. And just like that, we are done. Now the block should work perfectly as showcased in the beginning of the video. Again, I am sorry that I haven't been posting much lately. Tell me in the comments if you like this text to speech voice. If the majority of people like it, I will continue making videos with this voice. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and activate the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.